Hey, Rainbow here. How are you? Welcome to my channel. And um, I think I'm starting to relax a little bit. Uh, like many of us, uh, this is the first time in two years I'm actually about to start vacation here pretty soon. And one of the things I'm going to be doing is going to Italy. And I'm going to go to where my great grandparents are from. And on the way down there, on this five and a half hour train ride, I have to go through a particular area that uh, is, is pretty close to Tavulia. So it got me thinking, because I've been thinking about this and this has been in the news a little bit. When it comes to MotoGP, do you guys think that it's time for Valentino Rossi to retire? It's controversial because he's very popular. He draws crowds. He's a good for ticket sales and views. Um, but could he keep up with today's youth? So I've been looking at some stats on his career, and he's obviously now the oldest uh, rider in MotoGP. He's certainly proven himself, and I think he's an extremely valuable asset. And I don't think that he's getting slower if you look at a lot of the times. It's just that the younger kids are kind of getting faster and these races are a lot tighter. So I don't know that he has the ability to even make a, a, a podium. So let's look at some of the stats. Um, and what I did is I created a little Excel spreadsheet that I ended up bringing up as a, um, a brought a chart and you can take a look at the chart and if you take a look at this chart I'm just gonna screenshot it and talk I mean, you won't see a mouse moving on it or anything and you look at the dark blue are the number of starts that he has so obviously he he rides a lot and he's able to get out there his wins if you see if looking from 2000, 11, 11, 9, 11, 5, 9, 6, you know, 2, and then 2011 and 2012 when he was with Ducati, weren't great years for him. And then he starts climbing back up, and it just kind of seems as though he gets up to four wins in 2015. And that was really the last era that he honestly had. When you look at his poles, and his poles are on the uh, the gray line, always making poles, 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 you know, uh, which is great. And the last time that he had a pole position was 2018. Well, that was three years ago. Um, he had nothing in 2019, nothing in 2020, and so far he's zero in 2021. I'm not saying that he's a bad writer he is certainly an icon and uh, someone that uh, you know I mean where else do you get the word or the phrase street Rossi from because he has certainly dominated the sport but it seems like now the Quattroaros are out there um, really up and coming Vinales you have all these guys Mark Marquez is in a little downswing because of an injury but Mark Marquez is you know has a future still and he's just barely hitting 30 years old, I think. So, what, you know, what do you think? Do you think that his time on the racetrack is over and he needs to be more on a developing side and more of a, of a test rider, more of running his own team and doing things from behind the scene? Or do you think at the MotoGP level, he should still be competing? Now, before anyone gets mad at me, I'm an older writer, okay? When I was younger, I was fearless. As I get older, I become more fearful when I ride. And I don't know if that changes at the MotoGP level or not. Uh, I'm not going to say that Valentino Rossi is physically incapable because he's obviously physically capable, but... Could he get another pull? Does he have it to get another win? Could he even be on a podium 
And these are the things that we have to look at. And he did have a podium in 2020. He had two in 2019. And again, if you look at the podiums that are in yellow, you'll see that, wow, you know, 2015 was actually a really good year for him. 15 podiums. Then he dropped to 10 in 2016, then the 6, then the 5, then to 2, then the 1, and so far in 2021, 0 after 9 starts so far. All right. So these are some of the things that I'm kind of looking at. And, you know, the light blue color, if you look on this chart, is basically the championship position like what based on the points well that's the one part of the graph that you don't want to see going up that you want to see down and if you take a look at that you know you can clearly see where he was number one for one two three four five years in a row you know then two years in a row um had the ducat even with the without any wins the ducat years he was still seven and six um as far as the the his placement because of his ability to ride but now look at that difference and this this light blue line is what really shows the difference here between himself and the other riders the rest of it it's relevant to his skill and where in and, and where he's at but when you look at the light blue line it kind of really tells a story. Starting after 2018, uh, he's his, he's just dropping down on the points list, and you know all the way down to 19th right now. So is it time to kind of wrap it up after this year, or should he come back next year with his own team with the VR46? Should he ride for Ducati and try that again? Um, tell me what you think. Put some comments below. Let's get a conversation going about this. Um, I am gonna try to get through Tavulia on my way back uh, from where I'm staying. I'm going down to where my great grandparents are from. It's a like a five and a half hour train ride south of Milan. And I think I'm gonna leave there a day early and try to spend a night in Tavulia and uh, try to talk with the people there and see what they think. So maybe I'll have a part two to this video, hopefully, if I can get there. Um, after I come back from Italy. This is Rainbow. Have yourself a great day. Let's talk a little MotoGP. Take care.